The media loves flair bartending. Morning. We only host this thing. We know nothing about what's going on. I know. Sit up here and look pretty. Well, I don't one even of us do that. Does. I was going to say, I don't even do that very well. What we're going to do right now, though, that I do do very well, is mix some drinks right now. And we are joined uh, by the man who started <laughs> extreme, him, Scott? Yes, <laughs> extreme bartending. The man who started the whole company, Scott Young, is joining us, as well as the man who just finished second in the... I can't even remember the name of the event. His name is Mark Mitel. Mark, what was the event that you just came back from from Singapore? It was uh, the World Flare Tending Competition. And what is flare tending? Is that just the like flippy flippy? Extreme bar tending, yeah. It's sort of uh, taking everyday bar tending. <laughs> flippy flippy is the technical term, but for yeah, people who right. don't know out there. It's also the Latin <laughs> yeah. as well. It's, it's, it's I, I in believe. the dictionary, actually, real close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flip us, flip us. Yeah. Uh, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about extreme bar tending? Because uh, your company, Bar Smart, uh, sort of got the whole thing started in Vancouver. Yeah, well, we've been teaching for about seven years now, and we started out just having a half-day seminar teaching people how to be more entertaining behind the bar. Uh, and basically, how we've uh, expanded is uh, uh, we've got videos, we've got uh, we've got a book. Uh, I was just checking these out because you yeah. don't go into to a club really in, in Vancouver anymore and not see at least one person that's throwing around some. Yeah, well, I think that the concept has really spread internationally for sure. Like we've sold videos in like 36 different countries. Oh my God! Holy! Um, there's and this competition that, that Mark came in second. There was 18 different countries represented. Yeah, I think. That's amazing. Um, How many it's, people it's were you competing against, Mark? Uh, it was 18 countries and one person per country. Now, Scott, is this video right here? What the whole? Oh, look, hey, wait. oh there it is. There's look Mark. At Mark. Those are the moves. Look at that. You know, clean, simple. <laughs> clean, simple. That doesn't look simple. It is. I was gonna say, oh my. Well, that's the thing that we try to teach is that you know, flaring and, and flipping bottles is wonderful. It's great fun, but you know, use it as a business tool. Use it to to bring customers into your bar because they think it's cool. But there don't spill, don't drop, don't take forever. Yeah. Dude, uh, <laughs> no, no, it's just so one of those parts where I just sort of show people how to handle a drop. <laughs> right. That's amazing. Now, right. now, Scott, I guess that's one of the things that you had to sort of argue about and, and a lot of bartenders do before they take the course is, is sort of explaining to the owners of the bar that, you know, I'm not going to cost you $500 in, in broken booze bottles every exactly. day. Exactly. It's a real big sort of challenge that we've, we've always had and, and I kind of like it. I like, I like a skeptic. Is give us a fair shake to talk about the reality of it and we're going to get you because it, because it does work if you do it properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we learn? Certainly. Come on, Wait, Scott. Why don't, can we get an example first? Yeah. Notice, notice I brought, uh, I brought you a plastic bottle We got the unbreakable. Yeah. But maybe Mark, yeah. you can show us how it's really. Yeah, I, I might. Are those I might. Ones? Yeah, that, those are the right ones. Right. I might Should we step aside? And yeah. Yeah. I step aside. Safety first. Do your thing? Safety first. Safety first. So um, we're gonna. Uh, naturally, I'm. An, I've got a bar mat here. Like, this is a. <laughs> Safety that's, first. I thought there was supposed to be a mat here, guys. What's up? Well, that's alright. Smash it. Up. <laughs> that's what I thought. If it breaks, it's broken. Ooh. Now, Scott, what, what level of moves is Mark doing right now? In the is that ice, pretty that tough? Know. Actually, it's really simple. <laughs> we start out with uh, the things that we teach that are, that are no risk stuff, um, with glasses, uh, with uh, like a stand that's a shaker tin. Oh. Start out with actual, uh, see, that was nice. That He's was actually nice got one. some, some uh, emptier bottles, of, uh, kind of a setup bottle. Yeah. We really teach you how to do a little Heads bit up. of everything. Ah! Oh, yeah, oh! Them. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. That out. was good. Thanks, man. Right. But Here, the whole idea is, is whatever tricks you're going to do, I mean, don't spill, don't drop, you know, don't take forever. Easier said Dude. than done. Sure. But do you notice he's only doing like a few tricks yeah. and then he's actually pouring, right? You know, anything more than I'd say, you know, five or even ten seconds. People are going to say, where's my drink, buddy? That's nice. Exactly, right? So Look at the whole, you guys. whole concept of it is Man, you know, I, to I make hate to take drink. this down to this oh. level, but, but really, <laughs> chicks must dig this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I'm not usually the guy to bring the conversation down to that kind of thing, but really. All right. You know what? All right. Can you teach us something, you guys? Sure. 